where it's a door. It's a door. When you platinum and you're getting 50000 a show, I've been there. There's a door that you can walk in. There's three different ways to walk. There's to the left. There's to the right. And then there's straight. To, straight is your own, your own. Let's see if you continue this success, young man. Okay. Let's see if it was all about your skills, young man. Let's really see that. Okay. And you went straight. To the right. Fam. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another reaction. This is Segovia coming to you live from the man cave. Hope everyone out there had a good New Year's Eve. Hope everyone's New Year has gotten off to a good start. Hope you're getting after it. I'm over here having some coffee, y'all, out of my favorite cup to start the New Year. Hey, y'all, look down real quick. Look at those subscribers. 996. We need to get to that 1,000, y'all. We need to get to that 1,000. Enough with the chit chat. Let's get into the reaction. Familia, here we are. We're back with another conspiracy theory TikTok compilation I put together. We're going deep in the murky waters here to start the new year, y'all. We're coming back, though. We're coming back to this dimension, y'all. Let's get into it. But I warn you, if you make any further inquiries, or if you say a single word to anyone about what you have seen, there will be the most dire consequences for you and your family. They sedated you. Yes. Yeah. What was the the thought process behind it? When you, when you talk to a doctor about this, now remember what did they tell you? That first clip you guys just saw from Eyes Wide Shut, which I've never seen. Now look what they do to you if you don't fall in line, right? Fall, just follow. If you if you try to speak your mind and speak the truth. Look what happens. What's wrong with you? They they told me I was bipolar. And I remember going on TMZ and saying, you know, slavery is a choice. And they medicated me for saying that, for having that opinion and saying it out loud. But as I put those contracts up, I'm saying this is a choice. As I, you know, uh, you didn't mean people being abducted and brought into slavery and put into chains was a choice. What you were talking about is people making decisions that would enslave them financially and enslave their life. Yeah. But it was taken out of context and it was taken in the least charitable way. And they decided to try to say, look at crazy Kanye. Look at this shit he's saying. And it is always the ones that's crazy, y'all. That, that that's how much power the media has. Look, they 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 took something he didn't even mean. What he meant was, you know, slavery is a choice, right? It's my choice if I want to sign this contract, you know, and 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 kind of do what I'm told from, you know, the owners of Adidas, right? Whoever he was signing his contract with, he didn't mean, you know, what happened in the you know back in the day slavery. He meant today if I sign this contract. That's my choice. Slavery is a choice. That's what he meant. I didn't even know that. So I saw that podcast and I was like, damn, like they did him dirty like that. And the whole world, the whole industry was going against them talking about that. Now, look what they did to my boy Martin right here. All crazy. We got to put our heads together to do projects to give the consumer the truth. people what they want and stop letting the government tell us what to give them. Give them laughs. Give them entertainment. Because that's what your dollar pays for. Yeah. People, we don't speak to each other, and we are once we're pulling guns, we're taking each other, and this world ain't supposed to be like this. This is all wrong. What I'm saying is the powers that be know that you can make it all right for people in America. You can, you don't, we don't have to have all these homeless shelters. Why? Because you can stop building bombs and build apartment complexes and places for people to live, you know? I, I believe me, I like the money that we get to make from entertainers, but then how can you argue about teachers? Not get paid their money. So I think it's teachers are the closest people to your kids. So they can teach them and educate. Kids only know what you nurture into them as a child. So I'm telling all the neighborhood kids that anybody ever tell you you can't do it, or if you believe in your God, but most importantly, keep the faith. Because when everybody else yes. will abandon you, God ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we all know what happened to him after that interview. He was literally running down the street saying they're trying to get him and telling people they need to fight the establishment. Don't be fooled by Hollywood's acts. And I always think like, cause that's how I think, right? 
Like it's so easy to change the world. Like what like when you're like everyone that went to the grocery store during the holidays, right? They ask you, would you like to donate to whatever the less fortunate? Would you like to donate a dollar? I see it like this. Like if they really wanted to make a change and really wanted to change the world, all they gotta do is, all right, you just spent ninety dollars. We're gonna donate a dollar from that ninety dollars to this to this whatever, right? Would you like to do that? With your ninety dollars you just spent, would you like to donate a dollar of that ninety? And we'll take eighty nine, and everyone would say yes, right? But no, they want us to spend ninety and then donate another five dollars. When if they really want to change the world, they're making so much money. But when people start talking like that, they call you crazy, you know. But I started realizing that, you know, a lot of people in the industry probably think like this, but they're scared to say it because look what they do to you when you talk like that. Right. They have you running down the street, butt naked, saying they're trying to kill me. Right. And make you seem like you're crazy. And then after that, I saw him. And I was like, oh, my God, Martin, are you OK? And he said, I got the best sleep I ever got. This my life. I love it's how him. tough he is. So let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming? They are trying to kill me. Yeah. What's going on? He's saying, please help me. He's saying, please help me. Crying for his life. Grown man. He's saying, please help me. So slow. The streets of Hollywood. Yeah, I live around the ground. He's crying. Please help me. Please help me. Uh, you know, people are different off stage. Yeah, and uh, it's not quite the same Martin anymore. Like, if you watch Bad Boys 2, he's kind of off a step. I think after he had the, those strokes, I think, uh, I think that's I what I think. I mean, because even in working with him, uh, you know, I worked with him for four years on that show, uh, Martin Lawrence was his friend. He wasn't the... Now, now go back to that first clip from Eyes Wide Shut. If you do anything, I will make your life terrible for you and your family. That's what that dude said in that in the beginning of that movie, right? That's great. And, and look what they do. When you get out of line, if you don't follow line, if you don't follow suit, we're going to ruin your whole life. A couple days back, the world finally got to see Jamie Foxx for the first time in months. All the time that had passed, Jamie was now back just in time for his new Netflix movie called Who Clones Tyrone. Jamie would go on to post his video on social media announcing his return. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that's prayed, man, and sent me messages. I cannot even begin to tell you. He looks tired. Um, uh, how far it took me and how, how it brought me back. I went through something that I, I thought I would never ever go through. Sometimes things, you know, get out of hand. People say and what I got. Some people said I was I was blind, but as you can see, the eyes are working. The eyes are working just fine. They said I was paralyzed. I'm not paralyzed, but I did go through. I went to hell and back. Hell you know, back, some people you know. talking about I'm clone. Well, check this out. He went to hell and back, and we still don't know what happened. He still never said, you know, what happened. You went to hell and back, y'all. That, that's not something you say lightly, right? When people go to hell, hell and back. I've been to hell and back a few times, y'all. And it means something when you say that. Just kidding. As you heard for yourself, Jamie Foxx announced his return and vaguely responded to the speculations, but didn't really deny nor confirm anything. He even made a joke regarding the cloning theories. Now, to many online, and even I myself can't deny, Jamie Foxx looks strange in this video. I don't know if it's the angle of the camera or the lighting in the room, but in this video, Jamie appears off. His skin color was much lighter than usual. His face structure even appears different, as his face looks longer than usual. I also noticed that his mustache was shaved off on one side, which just stood out to me. The Catholic Church is the greatest example of that, right? I mean, you cannot say Catholic priest without someone thinking file. There's no yeah. other occupation on earth that has such a connection to pedophilia. Someone was t talking to me about the history Ooh. of the Catholic Church and what happened and the idea of the thing that turned the Catholic Church bad was the plague. Really? So the plague hit in the Middle Ages and before then the priest was the smartest guy you'd ever met. Smartest guy in the town, 
became could, a could read this Latin. guy could could read this yeah. guy can read right there's just shapes on a page to us mm -hmm. but like had access to books was reading was was the most erudite brilliant guy the bishop was even smarter than that the pope was a genius so the plague happens and the plague wipes out i think it's a third of the european population but it might have been more than that it wiped out a third of regular people but it wiped out 90 percent of priests because priests had to give last rites oh. so they were around the plague more than regular people i need mm. the last rites i'm dying okay then he dies. Right. So the barrier to entry for getting into the priesthood went from you've got to be great to ah, you seem to have all your own teeth and you can string a sentence together, you'll be great. So all mm. of that stuff that comes after, like the plenary indulgences, this thing where you could buy your way into heaven in the Middle mm -hmm. Ages, you could sort of pay someone to go, yeah, you, you yeah. make sure I'm okay when I get there, though. That kind of nonsense came along afterwards when it had all kind of come Corruption. Yeah. yeah. The mm. corruption and the... Interesting. Yeah. In February 2013, former Pope Benedict Joseph Ratzinger was prosecuted and sentenced by default for crimes against humanity by the International Tribunal into Crimes of Church and State. Ratzinger's crimes included child trafficking and protecting priests who had raped children. Is this why he stepped down, even though being a Pope is a nomination for life? Interesting little detail is that lightning struck St. Peter's twice, only moments after his resignation. Damn. The same verdict <laughs> followed for Pope Francis. One accusation was added, complicity in murder in Argentina. Damn. An island the CIA will never want How you to know about, is that? Diego Garcia. Like that has to do with one of the biggest religions out there. The top dog of that religion, right? The Pope. Before Jesus, that's what he's doing. That's what they're doing. I ain't going to say all of them. I don't want to get in trouble here from the comments or from YouTube, but a lot of them play in that field. That's crazy. This is a secluded island in the Indian Ocean. In 2008, Time Magazine claimed that Diego Garcia was the place where the CIA detained prisoners for interrogation, torture, <laughs> and conducted secret experiments. Furthermore, the truth behind the infamous Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 disappearance lies in its forced landing on Diego Garcia, where passengers were abducted and subjected to undisclosed human experiments. This assertion is supported by a photo posted by an IBM employee on board the flight, depicting what appears to be an experimental room that intriguingly aligns with Diego Garcia's geographic coordinates. This discovery quickly sparked widespread questioning regarding the island's involvement in covert operations. The case of Fast and Furious is obviously an interesting one. I wonder what happened to that plane. Are they still alive? Are they lab rats? Right? Because they gotta do these tests on humans, right? That they do on the rats? They have to. Are they lab rats? I can only imagine what you know, or did they die in a plane crash in the ocean? I think something would have washed up ashore by now. I've seen Castaway, Tom Hanks, right? That's how he got his best friend Wilson washed up on shore from a plane crash. Something happened to that plane, y'all. I don't know what it was, but let's rewind this a little bit. Garcia's geographic coordinates. This discovery quickly sparked widespread questioning regarding the island's involvement in covert operations. The case of Fast and Furious is obviously an interesting one. A lot of people will be aware of the case of Fast and Furious uh, going back to, from 2009 to 2011 when there was cartel operatives buying, they bought more than 2,000 guns in Arizona and the ATF was watching them. One guy went around different gun shops and spent half a million dollars on different guns for the cartels. He knew, he, he knew what to do. There was a case of a guy who was an Iraq war veteran who bought 10 AK-47s for the Setters cartel. One of those guns was used in by the mob who shot and killed an American agent. Oh, man. In Mexico. Imagine a government operation that armed dangerous criminals, all in the name of justice. Operation Fast and Furious, a disastrous scheme by the U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, ATF, aimed to take down Mexican drug cartels by allowing firearms sales to suspected straw purchasers. But things went terribly wrong. Many of these weapons fell into the hands of criminals and were used in countless crimes, including the tragic death of a U.S. Border Patrol agent. As the truth unraveled, the operation sparked public outrage, 
raising questions about the government's tactics and accountability. Uncover the chilling details of Operation Fast and Furious and its far-reaching consequences in our full video. Hit subscribe for more shocking revelations. You know how many gun stores are in the whole country of Mexico? One. Where'd all those guns come from? Who's the number one gun supplier in the world? Us. Right? No coincidence there. One gun store in the whole country and they're filled with guns in the wrong hands. Got a hefty shot like you. Yeah. Well, no, it does. It says you believe in rap it says, rappers. It, but, it, says, it, it says you believe rappers is in Illuminati. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, so they watch my podcast. Okay. The Wikipedia is watching this podcast. Is what I, this, is what I, this is what I believe. I said on my podcast what I do with my dude. This, this is kind of trippy I right said, here. Like, because uh, they asked me if I think, like, rappers are part of the Illuminati. I was like, yo, that's not my place to place them there. But I'm saying, if people are, if you are purposely throwing up signs, talking shit, that's affiliate, that, that you know that is, it is affiliated with this organization, then, like, I mean, come on. I'm like, what the fuck? If you purposely what, what, doing it, what the fuck is everybody supposed to think? Because I, I kind of know a blood sign and a crypt sign. I don't know a Illuminati sign. What's a Illuminati? See, when, when people get into these conversations, there's always the ones that, they, you know what the Illuminati signs are. We're about to get in a clip of you coming up, of you talking about this stuff. Like, there's always those people, especially when they get some power, and like Joe Rogan does this a lot, right? He'll start debunking everything, and but I can't stand those people that, I always try to debunk stuff, but you know, you know the truth. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need to explain it. You know, you're in the game, right? But there's always those people that play stupid and make you sound stupid. Bro, I, bro, like, and there's those people in the back laughing, bro, honestly, and they always gain up on the one. I don't know. I don't know. But they're the most intrigued with it. So apparently, like, it's all this type of shit that I never knew. That we were indulged in, bro. This is what's crazy. I heard the Illuminati was supposed to be the good guys. Yeah, because if you look at our album covers and shit, if you look at our album covers, they're always some crazy shit. Covers. Always some crazy shit. I'm talking about both of them. I, ne yeah, I yeah, never shit. knew what this shit was. That you was putting out? Eat? No, no. Our first album. We get deep. And then the thunder's we coming deep. The Illuminati is coming deep. Shut up and let him talk. Was like, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. We didn't really understand like all those like signs and, and symbols. Like, you know you gotta take it for it. Okay. Man, you don't have yeah, to take yeah, it, yeah, man. It. Let let it live, bro. What are you talking about? Man, before East 99 together. Come on, yeah, let's do it. He gotta work after this yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm we playing. is too. We, we gonna be DJ and shit. You know? Yeah, yeah. come on. So look, so, yeah. so we didn't really understand like what all them signs were. If you look at my fucking uh Thug Mentality album, bro, they had a nigga. And this was none of my idea. They was like, yo, this shit looks fucking good for the bone. But who's saying this to you guys? This looks good. The regular label. They like, yo, this shit is dope. And you say, like, come on. So I'm doing this shit. So what's the record labels? Because they have some crazy album covers. If you go look at their album covers, you know, they got the, the pits of hell in their album covers, right? Skulls everywhere. Death. Ouija's. Uh, but it's the record label telling them, like, this will look cool. And they're like, Damn, that would all right. That's who we are. Like, we're both those. That's what we do. Like, they didn't even realize, you know, they're 19, 20 years old. They don't know. Not even knowing, like, what these horns mean. None of this shit. I'm like, yo, this shit is, look dope as fuck. It look like the bone. Like devil shit? It, like, it looks like bone. Honestly, like satanic like, crazy shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually like, it looks like bone sounds. I'm like, oh, goddamn. It's, it's fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up. But I'm like, it actually look like bone sounds. So I'm down with it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> my nigga, so like, years later, I'm on my podcast doing a fucking show about the Illuminati. And I'm looking up the images. I'm like, wait a minute. It's like your album. God damn it, wait a minute, these niggas done, I've been bamboozled. <laughs> they done made you a part of Illuminati, you ain't like, what the fuck is going on? Like, yo. Wait, it's a door. It's a door. When you platinum and you getting 50,000 a show, I've been there. There's a door that you can walk in. I'm not sure if it's homo or if it's Illuminati.
I just didn't w- take that though. I went straight. What do you, what do you mean? Yeah, this is listen. Sure. This is when you get to when you get to a level of success. When you get 30, 40, 50 thousand a show, you platinum, you running across the world. There's a there's three different doors, right? There's three different ways to walk. There's to the left. There's to the right, and then there's straight. To, straight is your own, your own. Let's see if you continue this success, young man. Okay. Let's see if it was all about your skills, young man. Let's really see that. Okay. And you went straight. To the right, I'm not sure if that's the homo shit right there. And then there's to the left, I'm not sure if there's some sacrifice shit going on right there. I'm not sure because I went straight. But I was offered these doors. It's just you were offered I, I, some, some gay shit? I don't, no, 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 no. I, I'm saying that to the right when I seen it, they, those was those guys over there. You know what I'm saying? Those those, those different people, which I have no problem with. You know, that's <laughs> not just y'all. <laughs> you feel me? And I just no chose to go straight. Bro. And I haven't been platinum since. <laughs> Zombie deer disease could spread to humans after the first that's crazy y'all he's like i haven't been platinum since like they make who they want to make stars you don't follow suit i haven't been platinum since right uh that's crazy all these people that are on top out there what do they do ever case was detected in yellowstone national park last month scientists have warned that the fatal brain virus which leaves animals confused drooling and unafraid of humans may someday infect people the alarm was raised after a deer carcass tested positive for chronic wasting disease a prion transmitted disease which can eventually cause fatal neurological symptoms in deer and related species in yellowstone national park in november in recent years the virus spread to more than 31 u.s states two canadian provinces and even south korea yeah. Oh no 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 no! Uh oh, the list is coming you? out, y'all. Uh oh. No no no. So it has been reported that basically Oprah Winfrey is on the run, heading towards the bank with a hundred billion dollars to Switzerland. No, no 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 no. A hundred, where are you going with a hundred million? Since the fact that the Jeffrey Epstein list is about to drop because she knows her name is on it. We the people, we know her name is on it indefinitely. Now all of a sudden, a hundred million dollars heading towards the bank, towards Switzerland. Oh no. Mm -hmm to get real real here pretty and it's not only just Oprah a lot of actors and celebrities are leaving because they know their names on that list the ones you haven't been seeing or hearing about lately those are the ones that are dipping Oprah Winfrey is on the run with a hundred billion dollars she's going Sit, bye -bye. she's a billionaire she's only the going hundred million this is about to drop when someone closes a door in your face all you have to remember is when God allows them to close the door in your face. All God wants you to do is walk up the hall. It's some more dough. You just got to walk up the hall. Because I can promise you, he got a better door that he wants you to go through than the one that got shut in your face. All right, K family. There you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. Hit that subscribe, y'all. We're almost at a thousand. I want to be at a thousand when I post my next video. But hey, hope everyone had a good new year. Hope everyone gets after it, starts their year right. Hope all your dreams come true. This is Segovia signing out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.